I'm really sorry to break it to you guys, but you've probably been cleaning your floors all wrong. It doesn't matter if you have tile, lino, laminate, wooden floor, marble, or even a safety floor, this video is gonna change that for you once and for all and show you how to clean your floors properly. Nearly every client home we go into has this issue and people are astonished at what we pull out of their floors. They are then delighted that we give them a plan to clean and maintain their floors going forward. So, in this video, I'm gonna run through exactly how to clean your floors properly and how to reset clean your floors yourself and how to clean and maintain them on an ongoing basis. The best bit is this method is also free. It's counterintuitive but the more you use the method I'm going to show you the cleaner your floors will get and the less you will actually need to clean them. On that note if you like what you're hearing and you want to see more of our stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Today I'm in sunny Dublin in my friend Aileen's house. She has just renovated the house and installed an Amtico lino on the ground floor. Now Aileen asked me about three weeks ago exactly why her floor which is only down about three months looks really grimy and no matter how many times she cleans it, it's getting worse, not better. I'm gonna use a rag mop over here now for a second to show you guys exactly what's going on. The simple answer is that Aileen is using an old fashioned rag mop and detergent system on the floor. And every time she cleans it, she's passing over the floor with the rag mop, putting it back into the bucket, which is migrating the dirt and the detergent back into it, and then putting it back on the floor, meaning that every pass is adding more dirt onto the floor, not taking it off. That dirt and detergent emulsification is leaving a residue on the floor which over time builds up and covers the floor with a thin film of dirt and detergent. Literally after the first time you dunk this mop back into that water, every single pass thereafter isn't actually cleaning the floor, it's spreading more dirt around with the swab of the mop. So you're essentially buttering dirt and detergent all over your lovely floor. Not only that, but the detergent and dirt residue is really sticky. So it sticks to your shoes and you start migrating it around the house. It also acts as a dirt magnet on the floor, so it clings to dirt that's passed over. Sometimes it can get so bad that your feet will literally squelch on the floor as you're walking around. And just imagine how much of that you're walking into your carpets, rugs, and soft furnishings. To prove concept, I've done a test patch to see just how much dirt the tile is hiding. Now bear in mind that this area here is getting mopped a couple of times a week. But guys, fear not, after watching this video, you are never going to clean your flooring in the same way again. I'm going to be running through three processes here today. The first one is how to clean and reset your floor yourself. The second one is how we do it as a professional company. And the third process I'm gonna run through is teaching you how to use a microfiber mop system properly so this issue never happens again. I'm gonna take this area over here to show you guys how, how you can do it yourself. And as I say, I'm then gonna show you how to use a microfiber mop system going forward. Okay, so the first process with our commercial grade reset, or if we were billing a client for this, is I'm gonna use my special brush machine and just plain water to agitate the detergent and dirt out of the floor and then I'm gonna rinse it into my machine behind me. Simply water is gonna do the job on this and of course my machine is able to rinse and extract at the same time. So at this stage, what we're actually seeing now and you can see how brown that water is, is the detergent and the dirt lifting up off the floor and now I'm simply going to extract it out. Okay guys, so as promised, we've actually done the reset clean on the bit behind me, or sorry, in front of me, behind you, in this corner over here, and you've seen just how much detergent and foam from the detergent came out of the floor, which of course proves the concept that I'm talking about, and that's why Alien's floor looks unhappy. To do this yourself, you're obviously not going to have a massive rinse extraction machine, so you're gonna need about 10 of these microfiber mop heads and a microfiber mop, and just plain water. Simple as that, this floor is going to be cleaned with water from now on. For the first time you're doing this, you're going to take about five square foot per mop head and remove all of the residue from the floor onto the mop head. That's going to then go to be laundered. Now it's very important when you're laundering microfiber, do not 
use fabric conditioner. Fabric conditioner is an oil and it will stick to the microfiber and then everything you clean with that microfiber from now on will smear. So do not use fabric conditioner on your microfibers. Keep your microfibers for water work only. So I'm gonna take about five square foot here and I'm literally only going to put down about 20 milliliters, which is four teaspoons, a tiny amount of water on the floor. I'm gonna put that down evenly so that the floor is just slightly damp to the touch. I'm gonna to take my microfiber, I'm gonna start at the furthest point, and I'm simply gonna wipe the residue off the floor. You could be a real stickler here and go with the grain of the wood or of the lino, as this is an antico and it's grained. And guys, I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but that section of the floor actually looks clean. And you can see in the microfiber head, I don't know what the lighting is like, you can see in the microfiber head that that detergent and dirt residue is now in the microfiber. So that bit is now clean. This goes off, gets thrown into our washing machine. We take the next head, and we repeat the process. So we have now cleaned, reset, removed all of the residue from the floor, and returned the house back to normal. Process has taken us about three or four hours, but that was with doing a video also. But, as you can see, the floor looks absolutely amazing now, and we're really happy with how it's turned out. As with all of these jobs, we kind of know what we're going to be left with when we're done, and what we're left with is a completely residue-free floor that we're now going to clean for free with just water. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do exactly that now. So, you're gonna need your microfiber mop. These are widely available in any store that sells cleaning products, so, you shouldn't have too many problems trying to get your hands on one of these. You're gonna need about 10 heads, and then you're gonna need a sprayer. Any type of spray bottle will do, and remember, we're talking minimal moisture here. Exactly the same as the other method I used earlier, but we're not trying to reset clean the floor now, we're actually just maintaining it. So the method is slightly different. Rather than doing a five square foot area, I'm going to do between 10 and 15 square feet, which actually will bring me down to this area down here. And for the galley kitchen like this, I'm simply gonna mist the cleaning agents. Obviously I don't wanna walk my dirty shoes back through it. I've got a long reach mop head. I'm just gonna gently go back and forth over it three or four times. Now what you'll actually find is, because the floor is so much cleaner, one of these heads would actually probably do nearly the entire room and you're not really gonna be seeing very much residue on the microfiber at all if you're doing it right. Carl here from Cleaning How To, thanks for watching.